Welcome to a Rock Science feature video. Here, we will demonstrate how support patterns can be added to a slope model. All features are available in both RS3 and Slide 3. Results will be compared before and after adding supports. We'll begin in Slide 3 where we've opened up a model of a simple homogeneous extruded slope. All properties and settings have been defined, but the support has not yet been added. We will now compute this unsupported slope. You will notice that the computed results for the unsupported slope shows a factor of safety of 1.1 using the Yambu method. Now, using the same model, we'll navigate to the Loading and Support Workflow tab, select Face Selection Mode, and click on the slope face of the model. Select Add Support. A dialog should appear. We'll select Bolt Pattern from Application, Orientation Trend and Plunge, and input a trend of 90, plunge of 0, and length of 12. We'll then set the necessary parameters to define the limits of the primary path. You may preview your changes at any time using the Preview Pattern option. We'll select Add to add the pattern to the model. Select OK to save the input and close the dialog. The model is now complete and ready to compute. The Yambu factor of safety is now 1.41 compared to the 1.1 for the unsupported slope. You can also add a support to a specific area through an imprinted polyline. We've opened a model of a highway slope in RS3 with a rectangular polyline which we will use as the support boundary. We will add a support pattern to the rectangular area on the slope. Select the polyline and the model and click imprint. When you do this, it creates a group for the faces of the mesh that we will be adding the supports to. We'll now navigate to the Support Workflow tab and add bolts. Remember to set the entity as external before doing so. Enable Face Selection Mode and click inside the shape to select the group of surfaces. We'll select Add Bolts. Selecting Bolt Pattern and setting the orientation as Trend and Plunge, we'll then input the primary and secondary spacing as 0.1 with a length of 0.5 and a plunge of 10. This generates points on the surface with specified spacing along the primary direction and secondary direction. We try to calculate the direction of the bolts at every point. In order to set a boundary for the support grid, we'll need to define the limits for the primary path. In order to do this, we'll select the top left corner for the start position and the top right corner for the end position. Select Add and finally OK to close the dialog. The model is now complete and ready to compute. Thank you for watching our feature video. Please check our playlist for more videos and demos.